everyone, welcome. My name is Ryan Vickers, and this is Reach for the Top. We are in our national semifinal phase. This is the first of our two semifinals, and this is between Canada Cases Valley High School of Quiz Memphis, New Brunswick, against the Uni University of Toronto Schools in Toronto, Ontario. We'll introduce our players shortly, but now here is a snap start for round one. Snappers are general knowledge questions open to both teams. Good luck, everyone. How many pairs of cranial nerves exist in the human body? 12. 12. That's correct. Good. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every number... Canal. Primes. Prime is correct, yes. Nice. nice. What sedimentary rock is the main source of aluminum? Serena. Bauxite. That's right for 10. Nice. In economics, what term describes costs or benefits to a third party that are not directly... Externalities. Yes, correct, for 10. Next up, what Native American city, famous for its mounds, was the most important... Cahokia. Right, for 10. And nice. finally in this category, which national soccer team failed to gain a second executive World Cup when they lost to Argentina in 20... Eli? France. That's right. All right. Let's move on to assign questions. We'll introduce our eight question, pardon me, our eight players during this round. In this round, each member of each team is assigned a 10 point question. If you miss yours, it'll go across the table to the counterpart on the opposing team and they'll have a chance at it for 10 points. Players, our category is paintings. I'll give you the name of a painting. You simply give me the artist who painted it. So given the name of the painting, tell me the artist. Start with Kennebec Cases Valley. We'll start with player number one, Kyle, who really likes music. Kyle, here's your 10-point question. Girl with a pearl earring. Salvador Dali. That is incorrect. We'll go to Serena. Vermeer. That's right for 10. Let's go back to KV. Eli, who tells me he loves pencils. Eli, by the way, is it mechanical or traditional? Not mechanical. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Here's your 10-point question. Venus of Urbino. Botticelli. That is incorrect. Ned? Um, Michelangelo. No, it's Titian. Titian. Uh, Adam, we're told, join Reach on a whim and isn't doing too bad and gets this 10-point question. Adam, the persistence of memory. Adam? Dolly. That's correct for 10. And finally on KV, Emily, who is currently on a field trip and has so graciously I joined our game. We appreciate that. Emily, here's your question. The creation of Adam. Emily? Michelangelo. That's right for 10. Well done. All right, let's move over to the University of Toronto Schools. Serena, who tells me she really hates cracking eggs. And, uh, you know, maybe that means baking, but hopefully not too much. And someone cracks the eggs for her. Serena, here's your 10-point question. Starry Night. Serena? Mango. That's correct. Ned? who tells me he is going places with his band. They have a big show coming up. We hope you'll attend it, depending on when you watch this, of course. So hopefully you watch it and see it in time. Ned, Napoleon crossing the Alps. Huygens. That is incorrect. Eli. Eli? David. That is David is correct. Yes, well done. Kunal lived in Japan for two years and gets his 10 point question. Las Meninas. Canal. Velasquez. Correct. For 10. And finally, Matthew, who is looking forward to his visit in Indonesia, has this for 10. The School of Athens. Matthew. Raphael. That's right. For 10. Good. Well done to both teams on those sign questions. We're now on to a what book am I question. This question is worth 40 points if you get the answer on the first clue and 10 points less with each succeeding clue until either team answers the question correctly. So basically, one guess per team per clue level. For 40 points, everyone's in it on clue A. Alejandro Potrovsky attempted to adapt me to film. Ned? Dune. Dune is correct for 40 points. Hey. Well done. Great hey. get. Same format of question. This time I'm looking for a who. This is a Who Am I? Players for 40. Clue A. The third movement of my symphony number 10 is based on the interaction of two motifs, one of which spells out the name Elmira. Who am I for 40 points? No. Elgar. That is incorrect. Anyone on KV? 
Uh, Eli? That's all. Incorrect. Both teams for 30. Clue B. My string quartet number eight is dedicated to the victims of fascism and the war and employs my signature motif. Matthew? Dostakovich. Pardon me? Dostakovich. That is correct for 30. Well done. Good stuff, Matthew. Nice, work. nice, nice. All right, we're now on to open questions. These are questions similar to snappers, but they have a specific category. In this case, it's 1930s Canada. Here we go, both teams for 10. Starting for Vancouver, what Great Depression era movement saw protesters ride on the top of Canal? Onto Ottawa track. That is correct for 10. Well done. Nice. The 1935 federal election saw liberal victory under which politician who served Eli? Mackenzie King. That's right for 10. In 1931, in what Saskatchewan city did the RCMP Matthew? Regina. No, I'll finish. Did the RCMP face off against striking coal miners? Saskatoon. Mm. Sure. Eli? Saskatoon. No, it's Estevan. And finally, in which province did William Aberhart's social credit party? Ned? Manitoba. No, I'll finish. Take power in 1935. KV? Alberta. Sure. Eli? Alberta. Is correct for 10. Open questions on catalysts. Catalysts speed up reactions by lowering what minimum amount of energy? Serena? Activation energy. That's right for 10. Good. Yeah. What compound is the most common catalyst used in producing sulfuric acid in the contact process? Titanium dioxide. That is incorrect. Anyone on UTS? Signal? Oh, clear. Oh, yeah. Uh, platinum dioxide, maybe? I don't know. Go, no, go, I need it. Then vanadium oxide, unfortunately. Finally, in this category, what kind of catalyst can be found in a different chemical phase, pardon me, chemical phase, than the reactants? No. Heterogeneous. Uh, yes, that's correct. Nice. Nice. Open questions on volcanoes. Edvard Munch's The Scream may have been inspired. No. Krakatoa. Is correct. The 1983 <laughs> eruption of Krakatoa. The eruption of which volcano in 79 CE destroyed... No. Vesuvius. That's right. Several Roman nice. cities, including Pompeii. In which mountain range can you find Mount St. Helens and Mount... Eli? The Cascades. That's correct. Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier. And that's the end of round one. We'll confirm our scores with the judges and be right back after this short message. Founded in 2016, the Reach for the Top Foundation, which encourages and supports interdisciplinary projects. Canadian high school students are encouraged to apply to the Robert Jeffrey Award, and Canadian post-secondary students are eligible for the Sandy Stewart Award. The Foundation offers these awards annually. If you wish to donate to the Foundation or to find out more information about the program, please visit reachforthetop.com. Welcome back to Reach for the Top. At the end of round one, our scores are UTS 200, KV 80. Lots of questions still to go. So let's start round two with some snappers. These are general knowledge questions over to both teams. Good luck, everyone. Let's start for 10. Which are the two doubly landlocked countries in the world? Eli? Uzbekistan and Liechtenstein. That's correct for 10. Well done. Which sports person was named the most valuable player of the 2023? Eli? Connor Bedard. No, I'll finish. Of the 2023 World Baseball Classic, UTS. Ooh. Oh, and that's shit. time. That was Otani. Which philosopher conceived a veil of ignorance for a thought experiment? Matthew? Oh, I don't know, Maslow. No, I'll finish. For a thought experiment in his A Theory of Justice, KV. Uh. Eli? Russell. No, John Rawls. What neurological condition is associated with the loss of dopaminergic neurons? Ned? Uh, Parkinson's. That's correct for 10. Ramanujan noted that what four-digit number is the smallest? Canal. 1876. That is incorrect. I'll finish. What four-digit number is the smallest that can be expressed as a sum of two cubes in two different ways? 
1844. No. 1729. What is the name given to the border region that roughly divides the Korean Peninsula? <laughs> Matthew? The demilitarized zone. That is correct for 10. Excellent. All right, moving on to a team question, this two-part team question. Whichever team is first to answer correctly the 10-point scramble question in part one is then eligible for remaining 10-point questions in part two. Scramble for 10 points, everyone. Which country is home to the Godzilla film franchise and... Ned? Japan. Japan is correct. Well done, Ned. Good work, Ned. So that means that UTS will get the next three questions unopposed. And the following questions deal with Japanese directors... Uh, you may have some short time to call to uh, discuss, and I will call for an answer. I just need one person to give it to me, okay? Here we go, UTS. Which director was behind some of Studio Ghibli's or Ghibli's most well-known films, including Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away? Miyazaki. Miyazaki. Ed? Miyazaki. Is correct for 10. What legendary director depicted the defense of a rural village? In, by the title group of warriors in the 1954 film Seven Samurai. Kurosawa. Kurosawa. Ed? Kurosawa. Once again, correct for 10. Which director was best known for animated films such as Paprika and Perfect Blue? Can you name another one? I don't know this one. Yeah. Yes. And out of time, yes. sorry, out of time, uh, Kon or Kon, K-O-N. Next team question, scramble for 10, everyone's back in, both teams. The waltzes of Johann Strauss II are most associated with which Eli? Danube. Uh, no, I will finish. Which European capital city? Vienna. Oh, Vienna, Vienna. Yeah. No. Vienna. Correct for 10, UTS, yes, you take yes, the next yes. three. Remaining questions deal with Vienna in music. A waltz by Johann Strauss II is titled The Blue, What River That Runs Through Vienna? Danube. Danube. Correct. The second Viennese school was led by which avant-garde composer who wrote Transfigured Night and pioneered the 12-tone technique? Schoenberg. Go. Schoenberg. Correct for 10. Good. Vienna is a 1977 song sung Pardon me, song by which American singer who also sang Piano Man and We Didn't Start the Fire? Joel. Joel. Go. Ed? Joel. Correct, as in Billy. All right, final team question, scramble for 10. Meaning, pardon me, meaning resurgence. What is the specific term used to describe the process of Matthew? Resurgimento. That's right for 10. Well done. Excellent work. Nice. Yeah. The following questions deal with the resurgimento and go to UTS. First one, folks. Which Italian revolutionary and statesman conquered Sicily with his red shirts in the expedition of a thousand? Garibaldi. Garibaldi. Yep. Matthew? Garibaldi. That's correct. The capture of Rome in 1870 brought to an end which central Italian kingdom ruled by the Pope? Papal States. Go. Matthew? The Papal States. That's right. The Battle of Solferino prompted Henry Dunant to found what Geneva-based humanitarian organization in 1859? Red Cross. Yeah. Red Cross. Matthew? The Red Cross. And that's right for 10. All nice. right. Open questions open to both teams on mythological animals. The Aztec war god Huitzilopochtli... Ned? Serpent. No, I'll finish. Was symbolized by what bird? KV. Eagle. Okay. Eli? Eagle. No, unfortunately, it was a hummingbird. Hummingbird. What animals are said to accompany the Chinese goddess Changi? Kyle? Dragons? Uh, no, I will finish. Who flew to the moon after steering, pardon me, flew to the moon after stealing an elixir of immortality? Rabbits, right? Go. Go. Ned? Rabbits? That's right for 10. Nice. In Greek mythology, Leda is said to have been impregnated by Zeus. No. Swan? By a swan, yeah. Finally, Hugin and Munin were two examples of what type of bird? Serena? Raven. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Open question for both teams. Islands in literature. Abe Faria tells Edmond Dantes about a treasure on what island? Uh, no answer. Okay. 
On what island in an Alexandre Dumas novel, KV? Like Monte Cristo? Sure. Sure. Eli? Monte Cristo. That's correct for 10. A nice. conch is a central object in which William Goldberg, pardon me, William Golding novel. In Eli? Bird of the Flies. That's right. Along with Blefuscu, which island is... Eli? Lilliput. That's right, one of the two island nations ruled by the tiny people in Gover's travel. And finally, a prequel to Jane Eyre, which Jean Rhys novel begins with Marina. Why it's Sargasso Sea? That's right for 10. Nice. nice. Good work. Good. Open question on the spleen. What are the two types of pulp tissue found? You know? Red and white? Yeah. Uh, nice. Found within the spleen. Red and white is correct. The spleen is responsible for recycling which metal that is found at you? No, I'll finish. That is found in the center of the hemoglobin. KV? Iron. Sure. sure. Eli? Iron. Yeah, that's correct. Spleen and ideal is the first section of what collection of poetry by Charles Baudelaire? Eli? Eli Fleur du Mal. We say correct. That is correct. We also take go. Well done for 10 points. Deep one. Open questions. Quarks and stuff. Quarks can be held together by which force? Mediated. Eli? The strong force. I will need more, please. Strong nuclear force. That's correct for 10. Uh, quarks follow which principle that states that identical particles would have to imply? Poly exclusion principle. That's right. And finally, in this category, this the word quark originated from which John, James Joyce novel? It contains... Uh, Ulysses. No, I'll finish. Contains 10 hundred-letter thunder words. I like Finnegan's Wake. Sure. Sure. Finnegan's Wake. That's correct for 10. Nice. And that sound means our round is done. We'll check with our judges and be back in a bit for round three. The national finals of Reach for the Top bring together the top teams from across Canada. Throughout the academic year, these teams have achieved success in winning their regional games and provincial finals. As national finalists, these players competed for the title of national champions and will add their names to the Canadian academic legacy. Reach for the Top is available to every school with programs at the elementary, junior, and senior high school levels. Please visit reachforthetop.com for more information. Welcome back to round three of Reach of the Top. Our scores are UTS 380, KV 170. Let's move into round three. We're going to start with some chain snappers. These are open to both teams. The answer to the previous question helps form the subject of the next. Here we go. Good luck to both teams. Benjamin Harrison both succeeded and proceeded with Matthew. Cleveland. Cleveland's correct. Right. Which children's television show features the monster at the... Uh. Franklin. No, I'll finish. The monster at the end of this book, whose name is Grover. Oh, it's Sesame Street, right? Go, go. Sesame Street. That's correct. Which narrator told a story containing the line, Open Sesame, in the Arabian Nights? Serena? Aladdin? No, that's incorrect. Anyone on KV? You guys. Marco Polo. Monty Python. Marco Polo. No, it's Scheherazade. What number names a group of Russian composers that include... Five. That's correct. Nice. In the person's case, the eligible women... Serena? Vote? No, I'll finish. To hold what position was advocated for by the famous five? It's like a judge. Maybe. Sure. Sure. Eli? A judge. No, it's actually Senators of Canada. Arthur Miller's play The Crucible criticized which Eli? Salem. No, I'll finish. The witch hunts overseen by which U.S. Senator? McCarthy. McCarthy. Yeah. Ned? McCarthy. Joseph and McCarthy is correct. Open questions about teams. Mexico in the 20th century. What revolutionary advocated for extensive land reforms? Eli? Zapata. Correct for 10. The Tlate Loco massacre occurred in the lead up to which sporting event? That Eli? The Olympics. 
Yes, that's fine. Olympics or Olympic Games is correct for 10. Members of which party made up all of Mexico's presidents between 1929 and The Liberal Revolutionary Party. Uh, that is incorrect. I'll finish 1929 and 2000. The PRI? Yeah, I it. Matthew? The PRI? Uh, that's correct, yes. Nice. Partido Revolucionario Institucional. Along with the United States and Canada, Mexico signed what agreement that came in effect? NAFTA. NAFTA is correct. Open question on rappers. Which West Coast rapper was shot in 1996? The... Tupac? Correct. Which member of the Fugees released a solo album titled for her miseducation in 1998? That's Lauren Hill. That is Lauren Hill. Which drill rapper rose to prominence with his album Finally Rich, which included songs like I Don't Like, and Love Dad. Chief Keef. Correct. Love So So. <laughs> Finally, which rap groups, pardon, which rap group, who's Kyle? Wu Tang Clan. No, I will finish. Whose member Takeoff was murdered in 2022, recorded the Culture Trilogy of Albums. That goes to UTS if they like mm. it. And that's time, that's Migos. <laughs> Shootout. In this shootout, each player who correctly answers a question must put their buzzer down and sit back. Ten points will be awarded for each correct response until either team has all of its players out, and then the shootout is finished. Reminder to players that no consultation of any kind is permitted during the shootout. And that includes indicating that someone else should buzz. Here we go. Good luck, players. Question one in the shootout. Which European city is home to buildings called the Gherkin and the Shard? Eli? London. That's correct for 10 points, and you can sit back for a couple of questions. What is the densest element on the periodic table, Matthew? Osmium. That is correct for 10. You are out. Which language, whose speakers are largely located in northern Spain and southwestern France, is... Catalan. Pardon me? Catalan. Uh, that is incorrect. Is Ned. Basque. Ned Basque is correct. Ned, you've got 10 points, so you can sit out. Which American minimalist composer wrote the pieces Electric Counterpoint and... No. Cage. Uh, pardon me? Cage. Uh, no, that is incorrect. Electric Counterpoint and Different Trains. Kyle? First train? No, it's Steve Reich. A Reich. R-E-I-C-H. Which playwright depicted the declining Winfield family in The Glass Menagerie? No. Williams. That's correct. The summit of which mountain of the Andes is considered the farthest point from the center of the Earth? Serena. K2. That is incorrect. Anyone on KV? And that's Mount Chimborazo. In a 2022 Todd Field film, what conductor is the fictional title character? Serena. No, sorry, out of time. I'll finish. Played by Kate Blanchett, KV. Kyle? Tar. Pardon me? Tar. Tar is correct for 10. Well done. Named after a Cree child, what principal insurers insurer that he... Serena? No, no sorry. Answer. That Indigenous children can access the same support services as other children in Canada. And that's time, that's Jordan's principle. Which mathematician names both a prize considered the Nobel Prize of Mathematics and... Sorry, huh? Fields medal? That is correct. And I believe that's all four players. Mm -hmm. Well done, the shootout has finished. And let's now move on quickly to snappers to finish the game. This is for both teams, all players are in it. Here we go. Uh, which chemical molecule can come in chair and boat conformations and has chemical formula of c 6 Glucose? No, that's incorrect. Chemical formula C6H12KV. I think it's benzene. Sure. Okay. Eli? Benzene. No, it's cyclohexane. Which poet wrote, the apparition of these faces in the crowd petals on a wet black, I mean, wet black bow in his, in a station of the metro. Eli? Yes, Elliot. Incorrect. UTS. Cummings. Yes. Ed? Cummings. No, it's Ezra Pound. 
What mid 20th century Quebec premier's tenure was offered for Eli? You plissy. Correct, for 10. What blood vessel carries nutrient rich blood from the intestines and the pancreas to the liver? Eli? The aorta. That's incorrect. UTS. Is it the nephrotic? It's something. Or it's the hepatic portal vein. Kelly Clarkson was the first winner of what reality is singing, Ned? American Idol. Correct. Number 17A and number 5, 1948, are works created by which abstract expressionist known for his... Eli? Age. No, I'll finish. Drip Technique. Pollock. 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 Jackson Pollock is correct for 10. Sharing their name with a type of cake, what K-pop group is best known for such... Kyle? Um... Oh. No. Uh, such songs as Psycho and Bad Boy. Red Velvet? Go. None. Red Velvet? That is correct, and I'm certainly hungry for some cake right now, but we will continue nevertheless. A speech by U.S. Vice President Henry Wallace inspired which Aaron Copeland piece that opens with a trumpet speech? Eli? Appalachian Spring. That is incorrect. UTS. Name another Copeland? That's no. time. Fanfare for the common man. Mm -hmm. What scientific phenomenon was dismissed by Albert Einstein as spooky action? Um, quantum mechanics. That's incorrect. Spooky action at a distance. KV. Oh. Time travel. <laughs> Life? Time travel. No, incorrect. It was quantum entanglement. Mm. Jimmy is known as Thickney on the trivia game Extinctathon in which Margaret Atwood novel? Ed? Uh, Time Before Man. That is incorrect. KV. We like the edible woman. Sure. Eli? Edible woman. No, orcs and crake. Graceland was the Memphis mansion of what? Ed? Presley. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is 10 points. I'm su a subsidiary of Nike. What brand produces the Chuck Taylor All Stars line? Kyle. Converse. That's correct. The trial of Adolf Eichmann inspired which thinker developed the idea of the banality of Errant. That's correct. Banality of evil. Mm -hmm. In February of this year, Kevin Durant was traded from the Brooklyn Nets to which team? Eli. The 76ers. That's incorrect. UTS. Name a team. And time. That is the Phoenix Suns. That's the end of round three. Are you interested in getting involved? The Reach for the Top Alumni Association is free to join and offers social gatherings and gameplay for Reach players after high school. Our alumni are also invited to assist and participate at all levels of Reach for the Top. For more information about the Alumni Association, getting involved, or writing content, please visit reachforthetop.com. Our final score in this national semifinal for 2023 is UTS 540 and Kennebecasis Valley 250. Congratulations to both teams. UTS, you'll be moving on to play for the national championships. KV, congratulations on awesome season. We hope to see you at the national championships again in the future. Thanks for watching for today's episode of Reach to the Top. I'm Ryan Vickers. We'll see you again. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.